You'll take your Bibles, and I pray you have Bibles. Amen? In fact, I like to see a church with Bibles. You can't have a revival without a Bible. Amen? In fact, if you have a Bible, just raise them up high so I can see that you have a Bible. Let me see that. I pray that before this meeting is over, uh, even tonight, that every person will have a Bible. If you can read, you need a Bible. I believe we're coming to a time where man has become fashionable. It's become fashionable even to come to church without Bibles. And it's amazing. It would, be more, it would be more significant, more intelligent to come to church without your shoes than without your Bible. It would be more intelligent to come to church without your hat, sometimes even without your hair, than without your Bible. You see, my brothers and sisters, we're living in a day and hour where God is leading us back to the Word of God, and the devil knows that if he can get us away from the Bible, he can deceive us and prevent us from receiving a revival and a reformation. In fact, I'll never forget, we were uh, going to a funeral. Someone that we knew, a friend of the family, had died, and they were not a member of the Remnant Church. They were a member of the Baptist Church, and we were in the funeral. We had our Bibles, and we went down to the eulogy, and the Baptist minister did the eulogy. And it was interesting. He got about midway through and he began to start talking about certain things from the Bible. And then he said something about a text. And he said the text is in the Bible in Psalms 27, 25. And I listened for a moment. I thought that sounds strange. And I took my Bible out and I turned to Psalms 27 and I noticed there is no Psalms 27, 25. Then I turned and gave him the benefit of the doubt to Psalms 25, 27. There are no Psalms 25, 27. Everybody's saying, Amen. And as I listened to the adults and the youth and the whole church screaming amen, I thought, how many churches are saying amen to things that are not in the Bible? You see, brothers and sisters, if there's only one Bible, there should be only one Bible church with a Bible religion. And the fact that there's so many different denominations is proof and perfectly illustrating the fact that man is more interested in the opinions of another man than in the Word of God. My brothers and sisters, this is why I encourage you every time we have a meeting, bring your Bible, bring pen and paper, take notes. We must understand that God has told us that we're living in the most solemn and significant time of all of this earth's history. You see, we're not living at the beginning of time. We're living in the last days, and we've been told that far more than we do today, we should study the books of Daniel and the books of Revelation. In fact, in Daniel chapter 12, and when you get there, let me know by saying amen. Daniel 12, beginning in verse 9. Let's notice what the Bible says in Daniel 12, verse 9. You there, amen? 